Welcome to Brett's Backyard Bistro. Is that what we're sure. calling it? I don't know. We'll th maybe we could come up with a new name, maybe Drop Bistro. I love Bistro, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's the new digs. It is the new digs. We're happy to be here and happy to finally be filming more content. Yes, it together. Is, and it is the Thanksgiving season. Yep. So excited. So for the very first cook in your new digs, we are doing a smoked turkey. turkey. Geeked about this one. On the Pit Boss 7 Series Vertical, vertical Smoker. If you want to see us knock this one out, stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the, the other one. For reals, really happy and excited to be here. Brett, just talk about real quick the process that we've got to this point. Okay, setting up for this turkey. Very simple, this is very basic. You know, uh, we smoked a turkey two years ago on the Laredo, yep. down at my place, and one of the things we said, there's about a thousand different ways to get the same result, right? Just get a cat, <laughs> that's right. And so, or a turkey in this case. Yep. And so this is a very simple, basic, uh, idea that we wanted to throw together. First things, it started with this really small turkey. But Brett, get to the groceries. What are yeah, we well, at? the reason that why I did is because, well, it's turkey season and they're all frozen. <laughs> and we needed one that wasn't so frozen. I happened to find one that was thought out. We've got stovetop stuffing in the right, box. Yeah, We've we got cra well, not cranberry sauce in a jar. I'm kind of disappointed we, we didn't do that one, man. Right. But we do have cranberries. We're doing mashed potatoes and gravy. Right, and with that too, you see this big, huge slicer, Doll Strong. We have this amazing Valhalla series is one of my all-time favorites. Yep. I was so honored to get this new 12 inch slicer and we're going to in fact unbox that real quick here yep. in just a minute and we'll get to the rest of this video. We've already got the turkey prepped. So before we get the unboxing, Brett, talk about what we did here as you can see the process of prepping this turkey. It's very simple. We did not go with any fruit inside, no citrus, no orange, right. no lemons. We are just smoking it. So first things first, once we got it in the pan, we went ahead and patted it dry. Which does remind me, Brett, you just were about to mention butter and yes. butter was not pictured. <laughs> uh, yeah, not pictured butter, but we got butter and usual suspects. That's how simple we are making this one. Right, so once Brett patted it down, uh, we got this as dry as we could all the way around, including the uh, underneath. Brett hadn't used this technique before. I do like this. Now, if I'm if I'm cooking the turkey in the oven, which I traditionally do for my family, mm -hmm. aside from buttering the outside, yep. I also got this tip from my mom. I'll actually separate the skin from the meat and actually slide pats of butter up underneath there so the butteriness gets into this. But a lot of the, the usual suspects though, in the cavity, all over the place. Yep. Brett was very liberal with this. Yes. And this has been sitting about 15 minutes now. Yep. We're gonna add one more layer of the seasoning. Yep, before and then, we put it on. And then we'll put it on the smoker. By the way, we got the smoker poker up set at 300 it is up to temp now so we're ready to fire this bird that's up, right you know? we're given about four hours because that's what happened last time yep. we said and four and it went about four and a half and literally every animal is a different animal yep. so let's get to the it. times are going to be different all right let's get mm -hmm. to it here we go all right get break gloving up here real quick basically here's our turkey like we said it's been about 15 20 minutes now and so we're just going to add a little bit more of the seasoning coat it really good and then we're going to put it on the turkey on this wire rack now uh for anyone that is just watching this, they don't know what the usual suspects is. We will post it down below. It is our own little mixture of seasoning. We do yeah. hope to be selling it sometime yeah, soon. At some point soon. Uh, we love this stuff though. Very, very good. Garlic, garlic, uh, Salt, your pepper, SPG, garlic. onion powder, garlic and adobo. adobo. And uh, MSG, MSG, so yeah. we're good. All right, so we're good with that. I'll, t I'll carry the pan over. So we get it, the, the smoker is set to 300. There goes the turkey. There goes the drip pan, right there underneath. We'll catch that. All right, we're gonna check it in about an hour. Now, where Brett just noticed, the, the pit is running at about 290, which is fine. Uh, we're within that 10, 10 degree mark, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. Oh, he's gonna stick a probe in this, because this is what we're doing for the first hour. Now that's an hour in, we're gonna go ahead and put a probe. We wanna get the internal right in the breast to two, uh, 165. There we go. One hour, you can see we're starting to get some good color, especially on the legs. Now we're gonna turn this, because I just wanna see. We are gonna turn it, because that side's a little bit darker. Perfect, that's good, okay, good. So now we're getting this side of the bird going. After one hour, we're gonna start drizzling some butter, and we'll check the temp, see where we're at. All right, Brett, it has been two hours. And it is cooking at 300, thank you. It is cooking at 300, and Brett, what do we got there? We've got butter with a little bit of usual suspects in it. And so all we're gonna do is we're not gonna baste it, we're just, I mean, we are, we're just gonna drizzle that across, yeah, just like that, all over. And uh, so this is the first, oh, the first time since then. Brett, it's already tempered at 160. Dude, it is tempered at 160. So we're gonna do this, uh, and we're gonna do this in 15 minutes again. This is just now to really crisp up that skin, which is actually looking great, dude. So we'll we'll probe it because at 160, we you know you never know with the probe if it's reading exactly right. That's it. This will glisten it. This will get this will get it the rest of it browned. 
All right, so now we're gonna probe it just to see. All right. Okay, so we are right about 160, exactly what you're going, Brett. I'm thinking 15 minutes, this thing is gonna be done. Okay, this was the other side that's out. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yep. So we'll give it a 15 minutes and we'll check it. Uh, look at all the juices in the cavern there. Oh my gosh. Cavity. Right? Yeah, about two hours, 245. 245, you're right, you're right. My bad, we yep. started right about noon. All right, and that bird is done. We're gonna go ahead and pull the probe. It's time to let it rest for about 15 minutes. Well, we might go 30 minutes. It doesn't matter, we're just gonna pull it and uh, let it rest. Here we go. So as promised, we're getting ready to carve into this turkey, but we couldn't do it without the perfect carving knife. The proper knife. knife, correct. This big slicer, we're so excited to dig into this bread. I'm gonna film a different angle for this as well while you're digging okay. in. Okay, you say this time and time again, just the packaging of these knives, second to none. They do such a great job. Of course, you got the magnetic clip strip that, that holds it all so nicely together. And there we have it. Wow. Look at that sheath. First of all. First of all, you get the, the pins that come with each series. That is so, look at that handle. Oh, yeah. Pin that comes with series. each. Yep. There we go, nice. Then you got the booklet, booklet that comes with every knife. Okay. All Brett. And then of course. Yes. Your got informational it. booklet and information. Now go ahead and unsheath it. There it is. Now, you know we have that hybrid slicer. All right, here we go. <laughs> and. 12 inches. Holy cow, does it ever stop? Look at the size. <laughs> Look at that Look. slicer. Brett, I think this is gonna make easy work of the turkey. Yes, it sure is. And the next time we're doing a brisket. A brasket. A flower making basket. This thing is as the beautiful. handle yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. I love that every single handle is gonna be different with the resin, with the wood. You got the mosaic rivet right there. Absolutely beautiful. An absolutely magnificently beautiful blade. There we go, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to uh, carve this turkey. That's perfect. Love right, this. Well, here it is in all its glory. It's been resting for about 30 minutes inside in the oven. And now um, we empty the juices from the cavity into our pan for the gravy, if we want to. And uh, now we're just gonna cut this part first. We're just gonna cut down the leg. Oh, it really fell through. Yeah, I know. Look at how juicy that thing. Um, that is a juicy turkey. Did it come all the way? So that layer of pink there is actually like a, a smoke layer mm -hmm. that we're gonna see. So we expect to see a little bit of pink. We're gonna just get underneath that bone there. Getting between the joint there. There we go, we're gonna pull that off. Just move that to the side, Brett. We'll get the dark meat in a minute. Okay. We just wanna to get to some of this white meat. Like the light meat to give it a taste, yep. Here, here. Uh, cut the breast off, because it's how we would cut the whole breast. You have to cut right at the breastplate. Oh, how's that slice? <laughs> Dude, it's like the weight of the knife is doing the work for me. Right? All right, so we're gonna take chunks of this off. We're gonna go ahead and cut this uh, off and then we'll cut against the grain. We'll get a couple of big chunks and we'll taste it and then uh, we'll wrap this video up. We're gonna wrap this up. We just got this carved, and uh, we may, may, we may or may not have already sneaked a couple of uh, tastes because we have. It fell into our mouths. What, what can we do? There it is, though, in all its glory. This turkey, but less than three hours, yep. so two hours and forty-five minutes total time. It is a smaller turkey. Mm -hmm. If it was a larger turkey, we would have expected for like I think our first one was almost five hours. Yep. So it, it's really it's it's just a waiting game. Once you yep. get it set, but the flavors are spectacular. You could season this however you want. Uh, there's simple a lot salt of pepper even. Yeah, a lot of different ways to do this. We chose a very simple way for us. And Brett, we can keep talking about it or just go ahead and dig so in. Let's do it. Like we say, it can look amazing. Uh, thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Adam. Thanksgiving yes, indeed. It looks amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, yes. If we, In fact, I haven't <sighs> mentioned it, but can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if it doesn't look, taste amazing, then this is oh, all for not. not. <laughs> look at that Cheers. one. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Oh. Got some skin on that? Mm-hmm. 
usual suspects. That is so juicy. So juicy. If you mm. haven't smoked a turkey yet, you gotta smoke a turkey. Try it. Mm. It is so good. Juicy, mouth-watering. Mm. It's everything you expect in your turkey yep. with a kiss of smoke. And that's what it is. That's, that's a great way of putting it. It's just a, a kiss of smoke. It's not overbearing smoke. It's there and it's so perfect. This is gonna go perfect with our, our favorite side dish, mashed potatoes, potatoes and, and gravy. gravy. That's, that counts as one. Right, and the other thing, though, we didn't grab rolls. I always love a side oh, of yeah. rolls so I you can make a little mini sandwiches. I have some rolls, yeah. All right, let's go, let's go platter this up. Let's go, let's go get some. <laughs> yes, we are both just losing our voices. Like, I'm sure you know let's go, let's go get some footage plattering this up and wrap up. Here we go. If you're still here with us, though, we really do appreciate it. If you are still here, make sure and say gobble, gobble. <laughs> say gobble, gobble in your, put gobble, gobble in your comments. And that's our way of knowing that you stuck it out with us, which we so much appreciate it. Yep. If you did like this video, if it gave you an idea of the way that you could cook your turkey this Thanksgiving or any Thanksgiving or any time you have to cook a turkey, Make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us what, what we do. While this is a smoker cook, we do have actually two griddle cookbooks out available yep. on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. You can check out the links to those in the description below this video. Yep, exactly. Love that we get to come and do stuff like this. Oh, Happy yeah. Thanksgiving yes. from our homes to yours. And we really hope this helped you out. Yep, exactly. A aside from coming to get to share a an awesome cook like this with family. Yes. And actually, we're go feed the masses now too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey.